what is the metaverse? Perhaps the world of 2021, uh, perhaps along with NFTs, which also I think are related to the metaverse, uh, leaves as many people confused as it leaves people fascinated or intrigued. So here's my very short take on the metaverse. There are many definitions. Everyone actually, or every company, or every tech guru who wants to define the metaverse, in my opinion, defines it in a totally different way. And there are lots of definitions, but usually when you look at those definitions, you will see these words like alternate reality or virtual reality. You will see words like uh, non-fungible tokens. Uh, you will see words like um, Oculus Rift and uh, HoloLens. Uh, you will even find crypto somewhere there. Uh, you will, a lot of people will say that metaverse is nothing but a new world for gaming, especially that multiplayer, uh, uh, massive uh, online gaming, but what is it? So in my opinion, there are five ways to look at the word metaverse, what I call the five lens model. Number one is the mixed reality or the uh, virtual reality or the augmented reality view, which is this view of you wear this headset and you go into this land, which is a parallel land, which has your avatars, your friends' avatars, and you do stuff there, you hang out, you party, you even work. Uh, and you know, this particular, uh, this particular view of the metaverse has been the one which uh, Meta, previously called Facebook, uh, and Mark Zuckerberg, previously called Mark Zuckerberg, has been uh, talking about, primarily because I think he just wants to escape into this uh, uh, virtual world, given all the problems uh, in the real world, especially vis-a-vis -vis him. Uh, and then there's Oculus Rift, his, his headset. Uh, and so there's this re alternate reality view of the metaverse that this is a different world and we kind of go and live in that world. That's the first view. The second view of the metaverse is, uh, is the gaming view. And this is a very popular view. Uh, you know, People who are gamers, uh, hardcore gamers, have actually been living inside games like World of Warcraft or Fortnite or uh, even Minecraft. Uh, and and they, it's a parallel world which they inhabit, uh, where they play, they live, they transact, uh, sometimes they die. And so, you know, the second view or the second lens of the, uh, to look at the metaverse is that it's it's basically this gaming world with a few things added on. And then there's a third world, a third lens in a sense for the metaverse, which is uh, the video lens. You know, uh, over the last two or three years, we have been living in Zoom or Microsoft Teams or uh, uh, Google, uh, uh, Google or uh, uh, Skype or, or any of these video worlds and we do everything there. Mostly work, but even now partying uh, happens on Zoom. And so is it that, you know, we, we already have this different video world that we are staying in. And if we just kind of extend it a little bit forward, we make it the metaverse. And Microsoft is very uh, fascinated by this. They call this the enterprise metaverse. And soon, I believe we are going to have our avatars, uh, you know, doing stuff in uh, uh, Microsoft Teams. And maybe uh, artificial intelligence is going to predict what they would do if we were not there. And so they will actually really represent us. And the fourth uh, lens, uh, the most intriguing one is the crypto NFT lens. Now, while the, there's a, there's, the metaverse is this virtual reality world, crypto has become the currency for this world. And NFTs have become the creativity and the art uh, in this world. And people are kind of transacting, people are uh, creating things in it. Uh, and uh, actually the crypto world has been living in a parallel world for the longest time and possibly now it's being called the metaverse. The fifth lens, the one which kind of binds all of them together and the one that I believe in, is actually uh, boringly the, the uh, business model lens where actually what is happening is that the business model of the internet is changing. It was a ads driven model to start with, and then it became much more of a personalized data driven model, which now we don't like. And now we are getting into this new model 
which is a micro transaction led uh, uh, model and crypto is becoming the currency of those micro transactions and creativity uh, individuality is being monetized and people are now being able to do uh, monetize their art or their creativity what they write videos like this one on the metaverse and it's actually kind of combining all of these views and you know the things happening there for example gaming uh, tokens uh, can now be traded across games and they would become nfts so only some uh, you know only the creator would own them and so what is happening really in my view is that as web 2 is giving way to web 3 one of the forms that it is taking is this metaverse form now all of this is new as i said you will hear as many views as people you ask them but this is my view the four lens model uh, united in a sense by the fifth lens the, the business model lens would love to know what you guys think uh, what do you think of my little explanation of of the metaverse and uh, uh, would love to have this conversation with you thank you very much